Hey guys, what's happening? So, I thought I'd show you what I was working on here. I got this about a week ago, designing parts for it, but um, one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to make my one of my mining rigs more self-contained. So it didn't, you know, I didn't have all those extra wires running around everywhere, extra monitor, keyboard, and mouse. I kind of wanted to keep it contained just the frame itself, so I bought this uh, re little micro keyboard and I did some 3D printing designing and <clears throat> I came up with this uh, shelf. Sorry for the background noise, I'm actually printing out and everything right now, but so I, I designed this in the Fusion 360 and it's under, it's actually two pieces, two parts, and they go like that. Yeah, I, I had to uh, cut them in half like that because my printer's not big enough to print in one piece like that, so uh, most people probably don't have a printer that big anyway, so. So it's cut in half, and let me show you the design of this thing. Look at that, it's a little slide rail, like a, a round slide rail. And then I uh, have a little set screw right there, and that prevents the uh, thing from coming all the way out right there like that. We can see that. So one of the sides, I gotta get some screws, M4. I mean, I designed this for my, my rail, but this could mount in, you know, any kind of wood or whatever. To get this keyboard. But I designed this from my, my case to do, uh, mount to my 2020 rail. Alright, so that's that. We've got the keyboard shelf. Boom. And also got this LCD. Uh, I was sick of having a big monitor right next to my uh, the rack, so this is sort of like a mini LCD. And I also designed a Visa mount. 2020 Visa mount. And where's that? So I haven't put it together yet, but obviously all 3D printed. And, uh, you know, got to use some M5 screws to put it together. So, but all this stuff will be on my Thingiverse page. But the thought was, I could swing this out, you know, from my mining rack, and I'll show you my mining rack real fast. All right, so this is one of my mining racks here. And uh, I didn't, like I said, I, it was taking a lot of space having this extra LCD next to it. And I wanted to actually, like, make this way more self-contained here. So I'd already designed stuff like this, like this power supply man, the switch. But uh, so the swing arm I'm gonna have over here somewhere, and the keyboard shelf will be under here. I actually created some more legs to bring it up so the keyboard will fit under there. I'll show you that when I'm done with it. But that's the goal, self-contained mining right here. So I can pick this up and move it. Yeah, so let me show you this LCD real fast. It's actually pretty versatile. It actually has VGA, HDMI, so analog, digital. And it even has like the old school BNC. If you had like an old camera system, analog, uh, you know, camera system. I mean, pretty much everything's going to IP based now, so it's it's called the old style. But you know, audio in, audio out, I think. And then you have the old school like uh, you know, audio left, right, and then uh, composite video here. So I could have actually, uh, I didn't actually have to do the Visa mount. I could have just created like a, like a little slide in mount for this, but I wanted it to be more universal, so in case other people didn't have the same kind of mount here. That would at least be uh, Visa. Hey, right, so on the legs, I uh, it, it's designed to slide under a 2020 rail like that. And uh, if you have a thread, you can thread M6 in there if you want to bolt it down. On the uh, keyboard, you'll need the uh, M3 and M3 little nuts to lock it in place. There's actually the M3 uh, hex inside the uh, thing to lock it in place. All right, so when I designed this thing, I made it specifically for this keyboard. That's why it's so tight. We're talking, I didn't want the thing to move around in there, so you can still get it out, but it's tight in there, you know? So no movement, so it'd be stable. All right, there's the underneath right there. Put a little uh, silicone on there to make it slide a little bit better. All right, and then I'm also uh, tapping the uh, bottom of the 2020 M6, as you can see already in there. So originally I thought I'd have it like that on the side, but then I'm thinking I might go better over here on the front. But I'll rotate the screen around, obviously. But all right, there it is. So I'm running Hive OS, but I actually do have Windows on my M2 drive in case I want to troubleshoot, you know, do some firmware updates or whatever. Um, but look at that, pretty cool. It's on there. I didn't put the two screws on there, but yeah, just slides in and out, no problem. Got two more cards coming in, probably I think a RX 570s. Um, all right. All right, had fun. So I'm doing some other projects, and I'll show you that here in a couple seconds. But 
yeah, if I want to mess with this modify, I can just move up and down. Uh, like I said, the thing is modular, so it can, it can move around. So, wherever you want to put your LCD. Cool, had fun. Yeah, I'm just, I wanted this thing as like a self-contained unit. You know, save space. I think I might have another Ford GPU mining rig next to it. I'm kind of already out of space with this shelf here, so. All right, guys, cool.